Now let's start working on the order of operations. And I bet you have already heard of PEMDAS. What does that stand for? Well, it tells us the order of operations because we always start with the parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication, later division, then finally addition and subtraction. Subtraction. Hopefully I didn't misspell anything. I think I spelled everything correctly. Okay, so we always start with the parentheses. And, oh yes, by the way, to remember the order, you can just remember the um, phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. There you go. So 3 plus 5 squared minus 2. What do we do first? Well, we don't have a parenthesis or a set of parentheses in this um, expression. So we're going to start with exponents. We have an exponent, 5 squared. 5 squared is just 5 times 5, which is 25. Then we just have addition and subtraction. We'll do addition first, 3 plus 25, 28. Then subtract 2 from 28, so we're going to get 26. That's it. Then question two. Now we have parentheses. And so we're going to get started with whatever is inside the parentheses. Okay, so negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, because that's equivalent to just 2 minus 3. Negative 1. So we also have addition, division. And multiplication here. So just start with multiplication. We don't have any exponents, so we can skip exponents in this case. 2 times 4, 8. And I can break the bracket, or the, the, I was going to say brackets. Well, these are brackets or parentheses. You can get rid of them in this case and just write a negative 1. Then after multiplication, we do division. 8 divided by 8 is 1. And finally, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. That's it. 